What's happening, everybody? It's your boy Claudio, aka Claudio, aka Tell Your Mama I Said What's Good, aka Mr. Lacing Tutorial, because that's what we're about to do right now. I know I promised this a long time ago, and I've never done it. Um, but right now, I thought, why not do it? It's the perfect chance. I'm gonna go do an arm feet with the sixes, so why not be my first lacing tutorial? Here are the sixes, fully laced. As you can see, I'm gonna show you guys how I lace mine. You know, I'm not gonna say it's the best way to lace it. I'm not gonna say it's the definitive way to lace it, but it's the way that I lace mine, you know, and I have two separate ways of uh, lacing them. We're gonna start by this. We're gonna loosen up the lace lock. I'm gonna go take it off and, you know, unhook it through there. Now you got it by yourself, right? Now you can work on the laces a little bit easier that way. Let me move closer to the camera just in case, you know, hey. Never seen me so unclosed in person, have you? Are you nervous? How do you feel? You like that shit, don't you? Let's put it somewhere we won't lose it because these little motherfuckers can run around. Easy. Just gotta unlace them so we can start. So I'm gonna unlace these. Should I do one of those where it's like you do it like super fast? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like they have like the fast, uh, like fast stuff. Uh, what the fuck am I even saying about the fast? You know, like the video can be like fast motion? You know, like time lapsing? There you go. Time lapsing. Time lapsing. Nah, right? It'll be unfucking lazy. Like, I can literally. You know what? I'm gonna stop talking so that way I can just cut somewhere it's unlaced, alright? Because that way it's easier for me. Look at the way I fucking do this also, I wanted to add this right quick. So the laces go under the little neoprene right here, the neoprene jump man. And as you guys can see right here, this disconnects. It's like a little button. That way it makes it a little bit easier for you guys to just take the laces off. I like leaving that connected though. So there's a little thing here that you can go and connect it. Just boom, pop it right in. All right, now that we have our Jordans unlaced, now it's time to just the lacing part, which is very simple in my opinion. Lux, you still wanna have them on because they have that color of the shoe and they're still pretty fresh. I like to have one Nike out and the other one with the Jordan out. So with this one, I'm gonna have um, the Nike. It's all about measurements, right? So you wanna have the right measurements. You wanna make sure that this one is not too long in this one and use this as the middle point. And from the first two laces, you put it from the outside in, not from the inside out, right? So outside, you go inside, boom. You put your finger right here, so you make sure that this isn't turn or anything like that. So it looks symmetrical, it looks nice and neat and doesn't look all brazy. This is gonna be in the middle. Remember, use this as your, your middle point, right? Now you can go put the other one on the other side. Like I said, leave your finger, and there you go. You leave your finger right there. You wanna make sure these are a little bit loose too. Like I said, after you put it inside, also double check your measurements to make sure one is not bigger than the other. They're perfect. Now you can loosen them both at the same time. Boom. Just have a little bit more loose. Keep these in the middle, and there it is like that, boom. Obviously, it's gonna look different right here because it's pressing it, but that's not a big deal. So now that they're both loose, you put your little X, boom, across. Right under, left over. If it was a left shoe, I would do it opposite. So I'll do it like this, you get me? The reason I do that is because they're not the same side. So one's right, one's left. That way you have to do whatever you're doing to this one, but opposite, that way it looks symmetrical, like a mirror effect, all right? So you're gonna put this one over that one, and just same way you did the first loop, you're gonna do, I mean, the first line, you're gonna put this line the same way. Leave your finger, that way it looks perfect, and there it is. You're gonna make this one a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger than the first line, because as you go up, you're gonna gradually make it bigger, 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 bigger. That way it looks like a little bit of a flow. Always make sure you're checking the measurements or the sizes, lengths, so they're not one's not bigger than the other. Now you go do it to the next one. Like I said, this that comes inside the neoprene jump mat right there, they usually go under it, but we like to do it over that way we have that same loose look. If it goes inside there, you're not gonna have that loose look. And yes, the jump mat is gonna be hidden, but these are infrared sixes, everybody knows it's there. Finished. Like I said, everyone gets a little bit more loose in the last. Your measurements, like the lengths are still the same size. It's got that nice look to it in the knot part. So you do over your little X, you put this one under the middle, boom. You don't wanna have it too pressed tight because you're not trying to play ball in these. Now you, you make the bunny ear like this. And now you go around with the other one. You leave your finger. So that way this is gonna go straight to that finger and create another, the next uh, hoop or loop or whatever the fuck you wanna call it. Now you put these under like that. Now, when you make the knot, there are two sides to the knot or two ways to look, to tighten up the knot. So this right here, these sides, the opposite are gonna control the lengths of the, of the laces. And then the other sides are gonna control how tight the knot is. So you wanna tighten up that knot 
touching both sides on the other side. You see this where I'm touching the bottom parts and then the tops of each one are going to control the laces. So once you tighten it up, obviously it's going to make the, the knot look a little bit bigger, knot is tighter. You can control these a little bit and now it looks like a little bit of a ribbon or whatever. You can have it in however you want, way you want really. It doesn't really matter. Um, I like to just have it like a ribbon that looks nice and neat. And then I get to put this anywhere inside one of these. Honestly, I actually want to leave it out like that. Let me leave it out. Yeah, yeah. So that's a knot right there. When you put on this shoe, you, it's going to get wider because the your shoe, your foot's going to be inside it. So then you can probably add some adjustments, maybe make it a little bit more loose in the top, the bottom, you know, things like that. You can adjust your knot however you, way you want it. But that's going to be how the Jordan 6 looks. So there's an example of how I have it laced in another shoe. These are pure platinum, well, not pure platinum. These are the alternate 89 6s. So I have the lace lock right here in the middle. And yeah, I kind of do the same thing essentially. Go up and down, but just instead of stopping right here, I stop up here um, just so it has like a little bit of a tighter look. It still has a semi loose look. It's not super tight, but it's not as loose as before. And I just wanted to have an alternate look to it. Um, still easier to put on and it's not bad you know so that's like an alternate version essentially the same thing like i said just wanted you guys to look at that if you do it up there it's going to be like the alternate 89s that i showed you guys and that's you know more of a tighter look but i want to have the infrared sixes i like that like a loose look i think it looks dope it's got the nike showing you guys and the other one's going to have the jordan so i think that's pretty fresh yeah, I hope that you guys do like this um, lacing tutorial is for the Jordan 6s. I essentially lace all my shoes the same way for the most part. This one, I add the lace lock. I might do the knots a little bit different. It's better than your basic, old, oh, everything's tight. Just loosen it up and then have your, your fucking, the tip of the lace tip just hanging out to the side. You know how some people do it. I'll show you guys a picture. I think it's a little bit more swaggy, more creative this way. Um, there's different versions of lacing things, but this one to me, I think is the best looking for loose shoes and jordan's are the easiest ones or one of the easiest shoes to do it just because it's got a very simple lacing system um flat lace and then it's got the holes in the side it's easier to go across and things like that a lot of shoes have convoluted um lacing like 11s or 9s and stuff like that but yeah this is basically how it looks hopefully you guys like it any comments any questions any concerns hit me up but yeah this is uh the first lacing tutorial to Wow, it smells amazing. Thank you guys for watching and peace.